guys, so I am here with Sir Jordan and he is going to take us on a tour of Club Swingster. Uh, well, my name is Sir Jordan, like Lacey said, and I'm going to take you around our home here at Club Swingsters inside of Secrets Hideaway. So we always start by letting people see our rules. Okay. This is very important because like in any dungeon or any lifestyle event, there's always rules. Um, the most important for us are we always have to add, have people wear shoes. Shoes are important because we have sharp things. Uh, we don't want anyone to get hurt. Um, towels are always required. You have to clean up after yourself. You have to wipe up after yourself so it's clean for the next guest okay. behind you. Um, we also have our sanitation table where we have condoms for our violet wands and our magic wands. We also have disinfectant spray, hand sanitizer, and we also have information for Carnival Risk Gay and Club Swingster if anyone ever has questions. Okay. That's always on our sanitation table. Okay. All right, anyone walk with me this way? This is our shibari corner, which is, shibari is the Japanese form of rope tie. Um, it's one of our most popular attractions. We also have a rigger on staff, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Um, he also does impromptu lessons for bed tie and just even harnesses, something fast, quick, and showy. Um, a lot of people love that idea. We also like suspension. Suspension is one of the most popular things that we do. Um, and then next we'll come on over to our St. Andrew's Cross. All right, this is the St. Andrew's Cross. This one in particular is a little bit different than most. There are other metal ones, but I love metal St. Andrew's Crosses because it can have a extra addition of temperature play. We keep it cool in here because we don't want people to pass out. A lot of people always say when they come in here, it's kind of cold, but that's because as you're playing, it gets hotter. Um, with that being said, if you're playing with your partner on the St. Andrew's Cross and you push them down, it is another cool sensation that they have. So that is another awesome aspect of BDSM because BDSM is an energy exchange from one partner to the next and the next back to the first. And as you keep that going in a good rhythm, the scene evolves. And that's what I like to tell my partner all the time. The scene evolves into what we make it. We put it good energy in, you get good energy out. You put bad energy in, you get bad energy out. Um, one of the things like most of our uh, toys here is you're only limited by your own imagination and the flexibility of your partner. If your partner's pretty flexible, you can do a ton of things. Um, and we will help you if you need ideas because we are a learning dungeon. We are here to help you and your partner become a better unit in life and in play. And what I say by life, and people always laugh when I say that, is because BDSM is about communication. As long as you're communicating, you're gonna improve your home life as well because if you learn how to communicate in a dungeon, you learn how to communicate in your regular life because most people, they find out that, hey, this I didn't like this. I didn't like the way that felt. I loved this. I didn't like that. But if we tried this, I might like that. So it, it actually helps build communication skills. That's awesome. All right. Then we have our next, we have our first cage, which is our vertical cage. So our vertical cage is awesome because once again, you're only limited by your imagination. We have people who do all kinds of different play in here. One of the things that this cage is seen the most of is like sensory play. So we'll have someone that will get um, ear, hearing, and blindfolds and they will be restrained to the top. And they will set rules and they'll say, okay, I want to be touched with X, Y, Z. I want to be played with with X, Y, Z, but I don't want to be played with in this part of my body or that part of my body. Um, or all play is directed by my partner. So once again, communication. People allow for, to bring other people into their scene, but with limitations. If it's um, that kind of scene where the partner is kind of directing the play because a lot of times people think, oh, well, that's crazy. But no, this person knows what they like. So they will be like, hey, yeah, they might like that. They won't like that. It'll end the scene faster. Yeah. All right. So awesome. next we'll come on over to our worship hole. So this is our worship hole. What's awesome about our worship hole is it's very similar to our glory hole. You'll just notice that the hole is a little bit further down. Two reasons. Number one, for foot worship. And number two, here in Club Swingster, everyone works. This space 
the entire space was created by Goddess Elves and her idea of making things fun for everyone, but also giving it that glam feel in the fashion. She actually designed this, put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this chandelier. Um, what a lot of people fail to realize about the awesomeness of a glory hole or a worship hole is the freedom that some people feel about not knowing who's on the other side all the time. But once again, this is a dungeon, this is the lifestyle, and consent is key. Um, and some people are a little bit more, okay, if I'm in there, I don't really care. Some people are like, I only want girls, or I only want this, mm -hmm. or I only want that. But once again, we cater to that because we are here, we want you to be conscientious when you play here. We also want you to be open to try new things. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have a real question. Mm -hmm. So can you put your feet in through this? Like yes. your leg, you put your actual leg through this mm -hmm. or or your penis? Well, you can put your <laughs> leg or your penis through Okay, that. perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right, and this are our beds. We have two beds. We have one that has a stockade and we also have our voyeur exhibitionist bed. Both beds have eight tie down points, three on the sides and two on the ends. Um, what's awesome about the stockade bed is it, really scares people because they're like, oh my God, I don't want to be stuck. Well, one of the things that was thought about when this was being made was if you can look, your hand comes in and out very easy mm -hmm. and you can actually grab the pegs and free yourself. Mm -hmm. It's very, very beginner friendly. Um, it also allows for someone to be on this side or this side. It has enough pull too that we do have people that enjoy it um, when they're active in play. We can, you can also have someone on their back and their feet through here, which is also a very popular way to use this bed. And some, that some people don't even think about until we're like, hey, if you're uncomfortable with that, try this. You know, think outside the box. That's what we're here for. We're here to help people open their minds. Because we're all stuck in these boxes where you think this, that, or the third, and you just, it's always the same thing. It's every, every time it's monotonous, even in like a regular swing or lifestyle, it's always, the same thing when you go to a party yeah. it's always this it's always that mm -hmm. and what we strive to do is help open people's minds to let's try something new it doesn't all, it doesn't have to be the extreme but it, let's try something new um, this bed is awesome because it is this mirror is at a 30 degree angle this 30 degree angle allows for you to see if you're on the bed you can see completely around you so number one that that gives you a sense of security because you can see what's going on behind you. It also allows for you to, if you're a exhibitionist, to see people's faces while you're doing things. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people love mirrors that are on top of the bed, mm -hmm. but what I don't like about that is I have to look up. <laughs> With this, you just look straight and you can see around you and you're not, you're not worried about what's going on around you. Um, but also, there's a couch right here behind you um, for people who like to be voyeurs. The voyeur couch can see perfectly into the mirror and they can see all the way around the bed and they can also be seen by the person in the bed on the couch. So Goddess Elves put a lot of thought into actually creating the space and to making sure that it caters to multiple aspects. You know, like from hot, husbands, hot wives, cuckolds, whatever it may be. We give you the freedom and the opportunity to do things that other spaces don't allow or they just don't have the space for it. Because I don't like to say they don't allow because some places do, but mm -hmm. we give it to you in a way that's nice, it's easy, and it's free space. All right. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so this is our spanking bench. What is awesome about our spanking bench here is we have two. We have our horse and we have our bull named George. Um, the reason we call this one a horse and that one a bull is when you're, when you're sitting on top of it, it looks like you're riding a horse. And when you sit on top of George, which is his name affectionately, I don't know how he got that name, but it's stuck. Can we not name the horse? Well, we probably can, but there hasn't been a name <laughs> that has stuck. He just looks like a George. Yeah, it kind of does. Um, so once again, what's awesome about the spanking benches is you are only limited by your imagination. So you can have one person laying flat. You can have them on their knees on each side. 
Uh, or if you're if you're fun and entertaining, you can have one one person here leaning over, and one person there leaning over, and you can have them restrained on both sides, and then they're they're balancing out the horse and making it a fun opportunity for double play all in one central location. All right, so next we're gonna come on over to our spider web. So the spider web is another awesome, awesome, awesome piece of equipment that you are only limited by your imagination. You can do anything you wanna do on this thing within reason. We do not allow scat play, we do not allow water sports because we're not licensed for that. Um, and we also don't do blood because once again, that is hazmat, we are not licensed for that. Um, one of the things about the spider web that I love is the ability to have two people tied up at the same time. So if you'll come on up. Yeah. You can have, right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can have one person here and then you can have another person on the other side. And you can be restrained in any kind of direction. So like if you put your arm up here for me, mm -hmm. you can like hold on. Up, yep, yeah, you can hold on. You can come out to the side and you can be restrained like this mm -hmm. or like so. Mm -hmm. And what's awesome about that is you can have one arm like this and then one arm all the way down here. Mm -hmm. So depending on what your guys' dynamic is and how you like to play, uh -huh. you can experiment. You yeah. can be like, okay, hey, let's, I want you to be stuck on there. <laughs> so when you put one up, arm up here, one, they are on the web. Yeah. So uh, one of the, that makes it a different kind of play. But when there's someone on the other side, because if you're consenting and allow someone else on the other side, we've had people that are being played with on both sides, they end up making out, uh -huh. and then it makes, a, it makes a new bond, and then those couples end up playing. So. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really cool. All right. We'll go, come on over to the aftercare area. Um, one of the things that people fail to realize about BDSM is the different kinds of things that happen when you're in the middle of a scene. So for instance, you have oxytocin release, you have adrenaline release. Uh, we actually teach a class here called biohacking that allows for us to kind of break down the science of the different things that happen during a scene, like even for touch. There's been multiple studies done by different institutions. Um, I actually cite one from University of California about the, the, the amazingness of just touch, touch sensory and, and what happens. Um, with that being said, we also have feathers over here in the aftercare. This is for out there, but that is still an option and we love to just kind of always throw that out there during any tours. Like, we have what you need for any circumstance. Um, once you're done here, you would just go to the cleaning area, which we already talked mm -hmm. about, and then you would dump your uh, towels and sheets off. And right here, we have the throne. So this is Sir Goddess, uh, Sir <laughs> Goddess L's and Sir Tank's chair. So this is only for them, this is their their throne where they sit and they look over the club and make sure everything is safe. So when they're up sitting, holding court, they are making sure that everything is going appropriately. If they see things, they'll let us know like, hey, you know, maybe this couple needs some help with X, Y, Z, and we'll go and we'll kind of just kind of spice up their scene a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see that there are some um, pillows. The pillows are for their subs and depending on what they have going on, they also have a chair for someone to come and sit and chat with them. Um, over here, we have our toys that are available for use. Um, we have bear claws, magic wands, blindfolds. We have hair ticklers. Um, we have straps, we have paddles, we have crops. Uh, we also have floggers that are available to use that are on, on our wall, along with some wooden paddles as well. Um, and anything that you see on the table, we will teach you how to use it in a way that you might not normally use it in your, your normal play thing. Like something similar like a bear claw. Use these to pull pork apart. But can I borrow your mm -hmm. arm? You can just use them very nicely. And it's just very light. And then a lot of people miss the just being able to use it on this side because mm -hmm. all, all you're feeling now is just the mm -hmm. bristles. Yeah. So here at Club Swingster, we are educators and we want you to be educated appropriately and safely. So come on down, check us out.